perfect end to a glorious day. I think the parade was the best one ever. It was really glorious. All right, children. Time for bed. Bed? But, Mama, we're not even tired yet. Now, children, mind your mother. Come on, Isabel. We get to sleep on the top bunk tonight. Yippee! I thought it was our turn. Yeah, hurry. Good night, children. Good night, Papa. Good night, Father. Good night. <laughs> to tuck us in? Of course, Isabel. I wouldn't miss that for the world. Up you go. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have another parade tomorrow? I'm afraid you'll have to wait until next year, Isabel. The Victory Parade is an annual event. Victory Parade? How come it's called a Victory Parade? Well, <laughs> That's a long story, my dear. Good. Yeah, tell us. Yes. Please, Papa. Well. Come on. Yeah, come on. But. Please. But. How can you refuse? <laughs> All right. Yay! Just don't make it too long. The story begins a long time ago, when I was just a boy. I was still when pretty new. was just a little girl? Yes, that's right, Isabel. <sighs> now, where was I? Ah, yes. I was just a boy, and I was still very new at being king. And... Papa? What is it, son? Are there going to be any rhinoceroses in this story? Yes, Palm. Lots of rhinoceroses. What about crocodiles? Well, yes, I believe there are. How about monkeys? Yeah, any monkeys, Papa? Children, please. Am I going to tell the story? Or are you going to try and guess it? Sorry, Papa. Now, as I was saying, this story begins when I was just a boy. I was still <laughs> pretty new at being king, and it was to be my very first day in royal court. Was I nervous? Fortunately, my good friend, the old lady, was with me. Good luck, Babar. I'm sure you'll do just fine. And of course, my two trusted advisors, Cornelius and Pompadour, were right by my side as well. <coughs> Sound the official horn! Sound the official horn! Sound the official horn! <coughs> Where is our official horn blur? Sound the official horn, please, Arthur. We're running a bit late, you know. But I didn't mean to be late, Cornelius. I would have been here on time, but I had to get dressed and eat my breakfast. The and horn, then... Arthur, the horn. Like that? <laughs> yes, uh, that will be fine. <laughs> <clears throat> right then. Uh, Troubadour, what monumental problem will we be looking at today? 
Ooh! This could prove to be most difficult. It seems we must choose a name for our annual parade. The annual parade? Oh, my tusks. Why, this could take years. How about the Elephant Land Parade? Uh, the Elephant Land Parade. I say! That's rather catchy. The Elephant Land Parade. Oh, it's almost absolutely perfect, Your Majesty. Well done, Babar. Yay! Hooray for Babar! Of course, Your Majesty understands a delicate matter such as this should be given a great deal of thought. What? Well, Pompadour's right, Babar. I mean, we can hardly come up with an entire name just like that. I suggest we appoint a committee. A committee? A group of experts, Baba. Professional decision makers. We'll have them look at every possible possibility. We set up a committee to discuss and interact. Then authorize a study to investigate the facts. Then summarize the data to find out what we have to do. Get out all the files we have work to do. We'll call in all the experts to hear just what they say. Is there general agreement and consensus today? And then we'll take a survey to get the public point of, of view with color charts. Projector curves! There were graphics, too. And then we'll step it, date it, duplicate it, double space and correlate it, never follow rule it, that will never do. Then send it to committee for review. Then we'll circulate a memo to all the staff concerned. Discussing all the options. And note what we have learned. And then submit the matter to a democratic, thorough debate. debate. It'll be glorious. Glorious. Step and chain it, duplicate it, double space and correlate it. Never fall or mutilate it, but we'll never do. Then send it to committee for review. Stamp it, chain it, duplicate it, double space and correlate it. Never fall or mutilate it, that would never do. To committee for review. I guess it was around then that I began to realize just how hard it was going to be to get anything done. Sorry, miss, you can't come in here. Celeste? Hey! You can't do that! Babar! Hmm? Babar! I've got to speak to you! Mademoiselle, you are interrupting an extremely important meeting. Hey, Celeste! <gasps> I thought you were going with Mama to see Grandpa. Arthur? Grandpa's village is in terrible danger. Danger? Why? You've got to get your army out there right away. Army? 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 Rataxis and his rhinos are on a rampage. Rataxis? Rhinos? Rampage? He's attacking all the villages and snatching elephants. Oh, my. Grandpa's village could be next. Where's Mama, Celeste? Is Mama okay? I hope so, Arthur. She's still there. Oh. I ran back here as fast as I could to get help. Don't worry, Celeste. We'll do everything we can. Won't we? Oh, uh, absolutely. There's certainly no harm in looking into the matter. We'll appoint a committee at once. A committee? Agreed. Make a note of that, Troubadour. We'll want a full Wait a report. Minute. We haven't got time for that. Let's just send the army out there and have them set up some defenses. Baba, please. A war is hardly something we want to rush into. But... Cornelius is right, Your Majesty. After all, her story could be a complete exaggeration. Do you think I'm making this up? Now, now, child. The point is that civilized animals simply don't go around snatching one another. I mean, it just isn't done. Oh, it most certainly isn't. <laughs> the very idea, snatching elephants. <laughs> oh! Celeste! 
Celeste, wait! My word. Celeste! I believe you, Celeste, and I really do want to help. <laughs> My mama means everything to me. I know how important a mother can be. If anything ever happened to her, I'd just... Don't worry, Celeste. Nothing's going to happen to her. I'm going to go back up there and order them to get the army ready, and I'll lead them to your village myself. <laughs> Celeste! Where are you going? I've got to get back to my family. They need me. Come as fast as you can, Babar. We're counting on you. True to my word, I ordered Cornelius to call out the elephant army. I waited, and waited, and waited. Unfortunately, getting them ready to march was much more difficult than I had anticipated. Why does everything have to take so long? You may not think so, but you've accomplished a lot today. But the army won't be ready for three more days. That does seem like a long time. The rhinos could be attacking right now. And Celeste is counting on me. What should I do, madame? That decision isn't mine to make. You have to do what you feel is right. But Cornelius and Pompadour said that we shouldn't rush into things. You are the king. In the end, the decision must be your own. Thank you, madame. Hold this for me. Wouldn't it be better if we waited until tomorrow? Tomorrow could be too late, Arthur. But, Babar, we can't stop our taxes all by ourselves. Maybe not. But I have to try. What about Cornelius and Pompadour? They're gonna be really worried. I know. I wish there was some other way. But... That's it! What? Arthur, look! You look exactly like me! All us little elephants look the same. Yeah, but in my crown and robe, everyone will think you're me! Huh? It's perfect! They won't even know I'm gone! But I'm going with you! I could be a big help! Oops! You can help me most by staying here, Arthur. Hold the fort till I get back. Babar, what are you... I'm depending on you now. <laughs> Good luck, pal. Wait! I'm not ready! What if Cornelius comes? <gasps> Babar! Ah, oh, there you are, Baba. Lovely night, isn't it? Just look at those stars. Ah... <sighs> I could just stand here forever. I, I do hope you understand about all this army business. These things take time. It's not as if we can just go charging off into the jungle at night, you know. <laughs> well, good night, Baba. <sighs> oh, I'm Baba. I think you're doing a fine job as king. <sighs> so with Arthur in my place, I was on my way. Or so I thought. Hmm. 
Huh? Huh? Who goes there? Why? Uh, I don't know. We're supposed to say that to anyone who tries to get in. But I'm already in. Oh, uh, uh, uh... So why don't you let me out so I can try to come in so you can say, Halt, who goes there? Oh, okay. okay. Okay, now! Halt! Who, Who goes, goes there? there? Hmm? Halt! Who goes there? Halt! Who goes there? Suddenly, I was filled with an overwhelming feeling of foreboding, a fear that I might never see my home again. But I was determined to help Celeste and her mother. And with that as my guide, I marched off into the unknown. To this map, Celeste's village should be right about here. <gasps> oh no! Celeste! Oh! <gasps> <gasps> Celeste! Why did I let her go back alone? Ha <laughs> 
I'm coming, Sula. <sighs> oh. Help! Are you all right? Pavar, thank goodness you're okay. Quick, help me out of here. Okay. Hang on. <sighs> here, grab onto this. <sighs> Got it. Babar, what happened? I thought you were bringing your army with you. Uh, I'm afraid they won't be ready for a couple of days. A couple of days? Yes. <sighs> That's going to be too late. The rhinos will be miles away. No, Celeste. This time I'm coming with you. We'll find your mother together. <laughs> this way, youngins. <gasps> Follow me. Grandpa! Oh, Grandpa, I'm so glad you're all right. Eh? What's that? Uh, I said I'm glad you're all right. Oh, yes. It was a terrible fight, but I took care of these young'uns and <laughs> hid them in the bushes. Babar and I have to go after the rhinos. Can you take the little ones to the palace? Uh, they're getting awfully hungry, though. I... Sir! Go to the palace with the little ones. Oh, yes. Some buttered buns would do fine. Uh, but don't you think I ought to get them to the palace first? Much safer there, you know. Uh, you're absolutely right, Grandpa. Good luck. <laughs> Come on, little tikers. Old Tusk will look after you. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be fine, Celeste. We'd better get going. There's a long road ahead of us. I've never gone this far into the jungle. Have you? No. Cornelius says that no elephant has ever crossed into rhino territory. Babar, what exactly are we going to do when we find Rataxis? I don't know. But we'll think of something. I'm sorry I let you down, Celeste. I am king, but I'm awful new at being in charge. You didn't let me down, Babar. You came, didn't you? Ah, uh, 
uh, Celeste, I think we're lost, and... Hey! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Well, make, make up, up your, your mind. mind. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, it's hot. Let's rest a bit. Whew. Bye, boss. portrait. An excellent elephant imitation. It captures the very essence of your... Say, who are you guys anyway? This is my friend Celeste, and I'm Babar, king of the elephants. King? You're king of the elephants? Did you hear that, fellas? We're in the presence of royalty. <laughs> All hail King Babar! Zephyr the monkey, at your service, O noble one. Pleased to meet you, Zephyr. So, what's a nice king like you doing in a place like this? We're looking for someone. Well, it's a good thing you found me. I mean, a couple of nice kids like you don't stand a chance out here. In case you haven't noticed, this place is a jungle. You're gonna have to learn the score. It's nothing like you've seen before. The jungle is a scary show, and I'm the guy you need to know. Who cares if you're a king out there? Because here is not like anywhere. We work without a safety net. We gamble, but we hedge our bets. <laughs> You've got to learn the ropes, or you don't have a hope. I say this modestly. No one ever does it quite like me. Never do, that's how I'm made. I listen with a thousand ears. They greet me with their grateful cheers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got to learn the ropes, or you don't have a hope. I say this modestly, no one ever does it quite like me. Every monkey in the jungle listens, every monkey in the jungle knows. Every drop on every tree talk listens, cause they know he's really on his toes. Every snake in every alley. Know just where I stand, my wish is my command. I say this modestly, no one ever does it quite like me. So shout from every tree, no one ever does it quite like me. What happened? Zephyr! Oh, Zephyr, you're okay. Of course I'm okay. How's a little water gonna hurt me? Look out! Hey, Sue. Now that's what I call fast food. I'm coming! Be careful! Come on, Sophia! Gotcha! Right 
here. Yikes! Oh, boy. Babar, I've got to... Whoa! <laughs> For the help, Zephyr. No sweat. Listen, I owe you one. You do something for me, and I do something for you. That's the law of the jungle. Anything. Just name it. Help us find Retaxis. <laughs> you must be nuts. Nobody wants to find Retaxis. We do. He's taken my mother captive. We're going to rescue her. And who's going to rescue you? <sighs> okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. You can find Redaxis at the... Good luck, pal. Thanks, Zephyr. Uh, no, I... Why can't I just mind my own business? <laughs> we can't just leave him like that. Babar? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> Babar! I can't look! Hey, take it easy. I wasn't going to eat you guys. Besides, I'm a vegetarian. Thanks for helping me out. The law of the jungle says I owe you one. See ya. You're really something, Babar. Yeah, something weird. Come on, Celeste. Let's find your mom. Goodbye, Zephyr. Bye. Been nice knowing you. Zephyr wasn't kidding when he said this place was creepy. I feel like something is watching us. Act like you're not scared. Okay. Ah! It's so horrible. Come on. Uh, I think we're getting closer. There they are. That must be the bridge to Rhino Land. We've got to get over there. Come on, we'll find a way. You gotta be kidding. Huh? We'd be safer crossing with the rhino. Aw, <laughs> oh, come on. It's a... Whoa! A piece of... <clears throat> a piece of cake. You can do it. Just don't look down. It's too late. I looked. Well, just hang on tight. Okay. Don't let go. I won't. How long have we been? Oh, you. <laughs> it shouldn't be much further now. I think there's a clearing up ahead. Babar, we've got to free all of them. 
Look, they're taking her into that building. Come on, let's get closer. Never. Lock her up with the rest of the troublemakers! And you can stay in there until you learn to behave! Or until you rot! <laughs> Easy, Celeste. We'll get her out. Somehow. Ready for war. <laughs> the time has come to play our hand. The army's ready, now here's the plan. At dawn we march on elephant land. <laughs> We'll reach the city wall by morning. We shall rule the wall. Let's get out of here.
get away now! Can you reach it? Just about. Got it! <sighs> okay, are you ready? No! Me neither! treatment at the hands of your ruffians. I demand that you release us and all of the elephants immediately. And who are you to protest and demand anything? I am Babar, king of the... <coughs> of the elephants. You, king of the elephants? <laughs> <laughs> to excuse me, your majesty, but I'm off to crush your beauty kingdom to a halt! Let's move! <laughs> oh, Babar, what are we gonna do? Celeste? Celeste? Mama? Celeste? Mama? Mama? Celeste, oh my darling. Mama, are you all right? Well, I can tell you I was pretty discouraged. All I had accomplished was to land Celeste and myself in the very same predicament as those we had come to save. What's more, Elephant Land was going to need my help, and it seemed there was nothing I could do.
on, let's get your mom and get out of here. Oh, Celeste. Oh, Mama. We have to hurry, ma'am. The rhinos are marching on elephant land. Lead the way, young man. Too much trouble. <laughs> Thank you, Bella. How can we help you? Go back to your villages and gather all the elephants. Then come to Elephant Land as fast as you can. I have to try to get there before Retaxis does and warn them of the attack. I'm coming with you. Then I guess you're both coming with me. <laughs> Hail Babar! King of the Elephants! So as Retaxis and his army marched towards the city, Celeste, Zephyr, and I found ourselves in a race against time. Texas and his army are marching in elephant land? That's right. We've got to get ahead of them and warn the elephants before it's too late. Can you help us, Croc? It's about time someone taught those rotten rhino troublemakers to keep their horns out of other people's business. You can count on me, Baba. Me and every croc in the jungle. Great. Just get us as close to elephant land as you can. Thanks to Croc, we were able to make up for lost time. But when Celeste, Zephyr, and I arrived home, we found Retaxis and his men virtually camped on our doorstep. So then the zebra's daughter says, well, that be one striper, too. Knew this plan was all wet. Come on. <laughs> How are we going to sneak past all those rhinos? Leave that to me. <laughs> this isn't going to work. It'll work. If anybody stops us, let me do the talking. You just move your lips. I can't move my lips with this banana in my mouth. What? I can't move my lips with this banana in my mouth. Well, do the best you can. Look out! <laughs> hey! What's the matter with you, soldier? Quiet, you fool! Special detail. Oh. Wait a minute. What huh? special detail? Shh. Come here. 
super secret special detail. Oh, why didn't you say so? Come on, Retaxis has been waiting for your report. Then we smash him here. And we crush him there. Uh, and we super secret special detail reporting, sir. <gasps> Well, spy, where are their troops? Uh, heh. <laughs> A thousand crack troops on that side of the gate. <laughs> what did I tell you? A puny thousand. <laughs> and ten thousand more on that side of the gate. Eleven thousand, huh? Hmm. Now that's something to think about. Yeah! And there's a million more guarding the palace. A million? And a zillion more waiting in reserve. Sophia. Huh? Uh, give or take a dozen or so. It was the voice, wasn't it? Stand back! Watch it! He's got a banana! And I'm not afraid to use it! Stand back, all of you! They're not standing back! Out of my way! A guard! Try, but it's not going to work. Get ready to run straight for the back of the tent. Now! Follow me. Hey! Hey! Keep going! Fountains is strictly prohibited. Babar! Celeste! Your Majesty! Arthur! Arthur! Welcome home, Babar. Babar! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Retaxis is at the gate! Retaxis? He's demanding our immediate surrender! Mm. What? My tusks. Just look at them all. Oh. Oh. Now, that wasn't the least bit friendly. All right, elephants. You can make this easy for us, or hard for yourselves. What does he mean? Surrender completely, or be wiped off the map. Oh. You've got one hour to decide. One hour? Why, this is unheard of. We should demand a complete apology. That's it. Demand an apology. We're going to take action. We are. of Elephant Land. They have us outnumbered, but I think I know how we can outsmart them. Are you with me? Yes! Long live King Babar! Good. 
Then here's what we're going to do. would be easy. Oh, sire, you surely don't intend on meeting with that ruffian. We need more time. We've got to try and stall them. Arthur, as soon as this thing's ready, sound the horn. Right, your majesty. Come on, come on! Are you going to surrender or be annihilated? Cornelius, Pompadour, what do you think we should do? Uh, well, uh, that's a, a, a difficult decision, Baba. I'd say it warrants a great deal of thought. Oh, a very great deal indeed. In fact, I would say we appoint a committee. A committee? Precisely, my good fellow. We'll set up a committee to discuss and interact. Then authorize a study to investigate the facts. Then summarize the data to find out what, what we, we have, have to do. Get out all the files we have work to do. Come on, where's the painter? Then we'll circulate a memo to all the staff concerned, discussing all the options. And note what we have learned. Enough! I want your answer now! This is my answer. You can either get off our property now or face the consequences. Why, you little... What was that? The consequences. Oh. It's only a trick! 
Proud of both of you. Hey, I risked my life and limb out there too, you know. Uh... Oh no! I've just received the most distressing news. What? What is it? It's our annual parade. The committee couldn't agree on the name for it. Now, now, calm yourself. I'm sure our king will think of something. And so that afternoon, in celebration of our victory over the rhinos, we held our very first victory parade. Sweet dreams, children. Hey, Alexander. Hmm? Wake up. Hmm? Great story, huh? Yeah. And God protects us. I am King Babar. Uh, why, you little runt? Ha! And God! Cut it out, you <laughs> guys. Yeah, you're shaking the whole bed. Okay, you ask for it. The fear of the monkey to the rescue! Get him, Zephyr. Children, oh. go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> 